Speaking on behalf of the late Larry Costello in this recorded message are his daughters Pam, Amy, Leslie, and Colleen. Tonight, a little different approach. As we visit the home of Coach Larry Costello in Bayside. That was then, this is now. My sisters and I are truly honored to represent Larry Costello, who we call Dad. DJ Carsonson, thank you for spearheading this Hall of Fame effort. Dad loved you, you were the son he never had, and we cannot thank you enough. Dad left behind two legacies, the basketball one that you know, and the family one that we know. For me, Dad was always about family. He instilled these values into his daughters every chance he had by attending church each and every Sunday, eating dinner at the table together promptly at 5.30 p.m. after always saying grace, and developing our family memories through travel, camping, and watching many, many parades. We still travel together, sisters only, once a year. We have logged 14 trips together since our parents both passed away. Dad always pushed us to be our best, telling us to forget the boys and hit the books. We all really miss him. My sisters want to share other elements of our dad's legacy. One of the things that I recall most about my dad is how organized and prepared he was for every game. I vividly remember him spending hours in the home office studying tapes of rival teams and dissecting their plays. Whether in the office or on the game floor, he always had a yellow legal pad with him, ready to take notes or design a new offense. This became a symbolic trademark of our father. Our dad simply loved the game of basketball. He was never pretentious or flashy. He'd often tell my sisters and me that there was no need to talk about yourself or your accomplishments. Work hard and others will see the value of your efforts. I'd personally like to thank the Hall of Fame for recognizing my dad's many achievements tonight, having both played and coached all levels of basketball. Being inducted as a contributor seems like the perfect path to enshrinement for our dad, as he contributed to the game in so many ways. I only wish that he were here to accept this much-deserved award himself, as it was one of the few accolades he truly wanted while he was alive. My father was the hardest working person I have ever known. I remember all the time and energy he put into coaching. He would come home late at night after a game and then be gone early the next morning to prepare for the following game. Our dad loved his family and was on the road a lot. He missed some birthdays and celebrations, but he always called and sang happy birthday to me on the phone. He never let distance get in the way of making his children feel special and loved. Many of you knew him as a coach who always pushed you to do your best. I knew him as a dad who did the same. My father showed me the importance of working hard and being a valuable employee throughout his career. His can-do attitude and drive to reach his goals have stuck with me in everything that I have done in my life. My dad was an amazing coach and even greater father. I'd like to thank you for giving him this honor. The most important lessons I learned in life were from my dad. He taught me that it was important to be on time, never be late, be organized, respect is something that you earn, and to always be a role model. My dad always had a positive attitude and truly believed in trying your best in everything that you do. If something doesn't work, then try something else. Never give up on yourself or your team. He always said that even if you are losing, to always be strong and fight until the end. His memory constantly provides inspiration for me to be the best I can possibly be. I want to thank the people who nominated our dad and cannot put into words how much this moment would mean to him. I have always known what amazing man he was, and now the rest of the world knows as well. Presenting Larry Costello to the Hall of Fame is his teammate from the 1967 title-winning 76ers, Billy Cunningham, and two members of the Milwaukee Bucks crew who won it all in 1971, Wayne Embry and Bob Dandridge. Representing Larry Costello are his daughters, Pam Cosgrove, Amy Costello, Leslie Kirby, Colleen Kovacs. Congratulations once again to the family of Larry Costello. Congratulations.